oldest building in the league. Crazy to think this is its final season. And Ed, if I know these fans and I know this team, they're going out with a bang. Good luck walking out of Oracle with a dub in Dub Nation. They've had a lot to cheer about in recent years. Let's get ready for this one. Well, Jay, you think about the 80s Showtime Lakers. They came at the perfect time. Fast forward to now. These Warriors have carved out quite an identity here in Northern California. Yeah, and Silicon Valley and the tech industry has become the new Hollywood for a lot of these players. Some of the biggest tech giants in the world are sitting courtside at Warrior Games. And you even have guys like Andre Iguodala, who is becoming the ambassador for the NBA in the tech industry. Durant. Not easy. And Ed, when you have seven footers roaming the perimeter who shoot over 40% from the three-point line, why take twos? All five can shoot it at any given time. Oh, emphatic slam. Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. Curry. Yes, give the advantage to the shooter. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Across the timeline comes James. They trail by two. Rejected by Green. Foot was on the line. It's a turnover. Kevin Durant has it. To Green. Curry. They work it down to Cousins. Scores from the post. That's the kind of defense they're going to play in them all night. Even though he made that shot, he knows there's nothing easy about this game. Knock loose. They've got it now. It's James. His first effort, off the mark. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Inside, he scores. I like that aggression early. You never just settle for jumpers. You attack, you attack, you attack. Then when they back off, you'll have room to shoot that, Jay. To James. Not going down for him this time. And a lot of times in this league, teams take days off. But if this defense keeps maintaining that style of pace defensively, this is going to be a dogfight. Now the Lakers are going to call a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. For the safety of our players, we ask that you refrain from any flash choreography during the game. Thank you for your cooperation. James. Shot from the lane, won't go. Got a piece Ooh. of him. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Hand in his face, still hits. You don't see that very often. This game is so mental. Trust me, some nights you get poor effort defensively. You can't make any shots. Then you see the ball go in, boom, switch turned on. Thompson, great defense, forcing the miss. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Ball. Missed it. Not much more you could ask for from the defense there. Durant with the basketball up top. 12-6 to six our score. Kevin Durant lets it go. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. This has been a good first quarter for him so far. That wasn't an easy shot, but he was able to knock it down and add to their lead. To James. Defense! 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 Oh, whistle. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. 23. That's his first. first we have both squads set to make some moves right now. That's the first foul in the last two minutes. Subbing in for the Warriors. Warriors have it. Curry with the basketball. His team on top by eight. Nice finish at the rim. Jay, he might be small, but against bigger and more athletic guards, how does he find a way to get it done? Well, how about this? Last year, he shot 42% from behind the three-point line. 
That's his second lowest three-point shooting field goal percentage since he's been in the league. That's called first-class problems. And what that does, every time you step your foot over half court with unlimited range, it forces the defense to pick you up even quicker, which allows him way more room to operate on the offensive end. Green goes to the left side. One minute left in the first quarter. Gets it in the left corner. Thompson fires the three, drills the three. The post-shot confidence is everything. He's still running down the court, holding his extension. Los Angeles has the basketball. Knocked loose. Warriors come away with it. Driving right to the basket. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Unable to connect on the free throw. It's blocked by Iguodala. And he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. First try, no good. Second one's good. Splits the pair. It's Steph Curry with the rock. To Thompson. Here comes the screen. Thompson. The screen sets him up for two. Had a difficult first quarter. Couldn't really find his rhythm, but you got three more left to play. Rondo into the front court. His guys down big. And they call it. Ed, you can't lunge like that. To number 30, Stephen Curry. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number three. Golden first State. free throw is good. Can't connect on the second. And he splits the pair. Thompson. Now that's a contest. Gets off the three. At the buzzer. Three-pointer at the buzzer. Almost. It would have counted, but it's no good. And that does it for the first quarter. So we played one here at Oracle with the Warriors on top. Jay and I are back with more after this. You're watching NBA Tuesday Night on EA Sports. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Golden State at the controls. Curry to Green. To Curry. The pass taken away by the Lakers. Lonzo with it. Down by 15. Ball. Deep left corner. James. Wide open look. Won't go. Just seems like there's lead in the feet of the defenders. You have to bounce quicker to the ball to deter that shot. Curry. To Thompson. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. I get tired of hearing guys say, I was there, I contested a shot. I pretty much had a hand in his face. Well, no, you have to change up the game. If a guy is right-handed, he is right eye dominant. Get that hand over his right eye, block his vision. That'll enhance his chances of missing the shot. From the painted area, won't go down. And you hate to say this, but this is the reality of the matter. Sometimes it takes guys a little while to warm up into the game. Seems like they finally found their rhythm in the second quarter. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Kevin Durant. Subbing in for L.A. Number 14, Brandon Ingram. Los Angeles. They have it. Ball to James. 
Here comes the screen. James, off the mark. He's made those before, but that was well defended. And this happens all the time in this league. Sometimes offensively, you're tired. It's one of those type of nights. You combine that with the fact that the defense is hungry and active and contesting everything, that's why shots aren't dropping. Screen coming to Cousins. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. 6'11", 270. That's a massive man. You can make a case there's nobody like him. There isn't anybody like him in the NBA. He is an absolute bully on the block. Can burrow his way through traffic, make it easy, and also possesses that sweet shooting touch from the outside. And they call the foul. Careful there, Jay. Just a tic-tac foul. Caldwell Pope. James. It's Cousins with the rebound. To Curry. To Thompson. To Curry. Shot clock's at five. Down to four to Thompson. For three, you do it as well. Clay Thompson, hand in his face, strokes the three. Now the Lakers gonna use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. James to ball. And he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. free throw. Knocks down the second after missing the first. Curry has it to Green. Surveys the floor. Nothing going here on that drive. Cousins. Shot from in close, no good. Why are you even guarding a bad shooter that close in the first place? This is psychological warfare. Leave him open. Make him think about it before he shoots. Draymond Green will go to the line to shoot two. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. First one goes down. them both two minutes remaining it's James controlling the offense knock loose Warriors come up with it Durant across the timeline his guys hold a commanding lead to green Thompson buries it you know someone I had the audacity to ask Clay Thompson how he feels about being the third or fourth option and I love his response he said I don't care. When you're as efficient as me, my paycheck warrants it. And I think about a game he had this past year. 88.4 seconds of possessions, 52 touches, 33 shots, 11 dribbles for 60 points just in 22 minutes proves the reason why Clay is Clay. Curry into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. 
That's blocked by Zaza. And his foot was on the line. It's going the other way. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. Lakers at the controls right now. Ball. One minute remaining in the second quarter. Green to Durant. Trying to cash in. It goes down. He improvises and scores. When I play and I see guys do this all the time. When you shoot, the target isn't the basket. The target is actually before you even go into the shot. The target are your hands defensively. If your hands are down and you give me clear vision towards the bucket, that shot's definitely going up. In the front court comes Rondo. Down a bundle to ball. That's blocked by Durant. And he stepped out of bounds. Turns the ball over. Curry to Durant. Almost, and he's not getting the call. What happened is he didn't balance himself off the defender. He didn't initiate contact. He allowed the contact to initiate him. We could break that down later in the broadcast, but that's why he missed that easy chip. It's Steph at the controls. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer, missed it. He always has the green light, but the defense was ready. A very one-sided first half of basketball. As we are at halftime, let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. Thanks, guys. Let's take a look at what went down so far in this one. The Warriors were the dominant team in that first half, without question. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. The Lakers have got themselves in a bad situation that seems likely to only get worse. The way they struggle doesn't bode well for them at all. But if they've got some fight in them, we'll know right away in the third quarter. These are the guys getting buckets for the Los Angeles Lakers. Game track. Steals. Here's a team that might just be one or two adjustments away from what's needed to turn things around. They still have time to make up for a lackluster first half. Joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. Curry with the ball. To Durant. Let's it fly from long range. Smothering D. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. To Caldwell Pope. Piece of mm. him jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Oh, he got a piece of it. Well, he blocked that with authority. Caldwell Pope. Inside, he scores. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Here's Curry with it up top. His guys lead here early stages, third quarter. Nothing going here on that drive. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. He has an uncanny approach to the game. And did you see that? His eyes are his deadliest weapon. When he steps over half court, when he looks at the rim, that naturally throws the defender off. It makes the defender lean just a little bit. And just that millisecond of you wondering what he's going to do, splash is enough for him to exploit. It's Curry controlling the offense. 
to Cousins. Probing the defense. Shot from the lane, won't go. Ooh, someone's been working on their game in the offseason. But let's not get carried away. Ball to Caldwell Pope. 4-3. And that's going to get out of bounds. Off a of Laker. Curry into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Here comes the screen. Curry. Tough shot. He hits. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Ball with the basketball. He'll run the offense. Defender was right there. He has to know better. See, I don't like that shot right there. Pass the ball, get the defense moving, maybe set a hard screen, roll to the rim, see the ball go in a couple of times before you settle for a mid-range jumper that's contested. The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Ball brings the rock up court. Warriors have it. Curry over to the right side to Curry. Durant to Thompson. Here's a chance from long range and splash. Clay Thompson, quick catch and shoot there for three. To Caldwell Pope. Deep two there, won't go. Mm, this game is all about the small victories, though. The execution on that play was on point. You keep executing like that, those shots are going in eventually. James to ball. Shot's no good. You have to like the confidence, but that was a difficult shot. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in the safe place. Straight down the middle of the lane. Way to punch it home. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. There's no denying he is a big talent, but he has a large personality. And his personality gets the best of him at times. When I think about personalities who are able to control their aggression, I think about Marcus Smart, I think about Draymond Green. The biggest key for DeMarcus Cousins, controlling his emotion instead of letting his emotions control him. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Durant to Curry. Down to five. Down to four to shoot. Curry had made his first couple, but he misses there. Ball. In the slam. Good luck keeping up with that. Did you see that jump? It was as quick as a pogo stick. To Curry. To Durant. Baseline drive. And a throw down. Man, they are just continuing to pour it on. But the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. Rondo. Oh, surprise. He hits it. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. That misses with three seconds left.
It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. LBJ has it. To ball. Probing the defense. Nothing going here on that drive. It's no good. Great defense. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Down to five on the 24. Bell shot won't go. Ball with it up top. His guys down big. Add two more points. The defense had him, but the good shooters find a way. There's a natural tendency when you guard a right dominant hand player to send him left. But for a guy who's a good mid-range shooter, that's wrong. His pace dribble is his left hand. Force him to go right and know that the chances are higher of him trying to drive and attack the rim. That's knowing the scouting report. Has a look. Wide open look won't go. From the player that just missed that shot, just because you're open doesn't mean you need to shoot. You can put the ball down on the ground and drive to the rim. To Durant. He's gone to the line for two. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Team foul, number one. For the goal. Alonzo controls the offense to James. No good. No daylight. Great defense. Curry to Durant. Just off the mark. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. It's James. It's no good. Shots not going down. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. To Thompson. To Durant. Off the mark. With defense like that, little margin for error. Surprising and shocking that the coaching staff would put somebody on the player of his magnitude that is more focused on the offensive end than he is stopping another player on the defensive end. Oh, the whistle. Hey, take your hands off of me. Those cat-like hands almost got a steal. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. Sean Livingston. Caldwell Pope. James. They have to keep him in their grasp. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that, continuously moved without the ball. Bang, that's how he set it up. Pursues and he's called for it. Just a tic tac foul. Caldwell Pope. James, it's good. Coach wants to see more from his D. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose the dagger with the three. Here comes the screen. Curry. Well defended. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head.
throws good to cap off the three-point play as they draw a tiny bit closer. It's Golden State basketball. Curry to Durant. And count the basket inside. You can forget about it when he uses that 7-5 wingspan to attack the bucket. James. From the painted area, won't go down. Oh, I see how you're playing this chess match. That's what you keep doing defensively. Keep baiting him and luring him into shooting that jump shot. Exploit him. LeBron into the front court. Down a bundle. Not that time. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Curry to bring it up. His guys hold a commanding lead to Curry. Screen coming. Curry to Durant. Warriors with four to shoot. And the finish at the rim. Curry, obviously the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Yeah, I said it. But he's so good at driving and using his body to shield off the contact. Give him two points. High percentage. This offseason, I heard so many voices. Even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal. Talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy. And that's to be the greatest of all time. Scores from the post. And this kid has a chance to be a Laker great. Went from averaging nine points his rookie year to 16 in his sophomore campaign. Brandon Ingram is a name that you need to recognize. Time for some new personnel into the game. or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs, the strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get M ones. three-point play and the Warriors add to their lead now a three at the buzzer